Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is the Thames and Cosmos Motors and Generators Kit. And this video is a three minute Thursday. If you're not familiar with our three minute Thursdays, they are brief videos where we review homeschool and educational products so you can decide if they're good for you, your home, your homeschooling co-op or classroom before you go out and spend it on a product you might regret. I'm still talking about you Smithsonian Magnetic Levitator. This is the second Thames and Cosmos product that we are reviewing and our first reviewer request for a product review. So Warren P, wherever you are, this one's for you. And just a quick note, while we would love to review every single product suggestion that comes our way, in case you haven't noticed by looking at our animation department, our running budget for each one of our videos is about 83 cents. This product suggestion just so happened to be dealing with some topics that my kids and I had been learning throughout the year, so we thought we'd give it a try. Last year, we reviewed the Thames and Cosmos Simple Machines Kit, and it was a great purchase. It was one of the very first Three Minute Thursdays that we did on our channel. Interestingly enough, the Thames and Cosmos Simple Machine Kit got the Gold Choice Award, while the Thames and Cosmos Motors and Generator had to settle for the silver. I'm sure that created some inter-office drama. Look at us, we got the gold reward, we're better. So why do I still have the Simple Machines kit from last year? I have trouble letting things go. But seriously, it generally highlights what's great about these kits, especially physics kits, because once you're done with it, you can put them away. And if you're in a co-op, you can reuse them. Or if you have younger kids coming up, when they're of age, they'll be able to use it and enjoy it just as much. It's why chemistry kits generally aren't as good, because once you're done with those, usually the reagents and the products that come with it are all used up and you're, you're kind of you're kind of done. But not so with physics kits. The reusability is endless. As long as your kids don't lose the pieces. You know who I'm talking about. This Thames and Cosmo kit says you'll be able to build your own electric motor, generate electricity to power a light, and experiment with simple circuits. It also says it's advertised for children eight and up. Although spoiler alert, my six year old had a good time with most of these experiments. The box advertises the kit coming with 12 pieces so you can do 25 experiments and a full page manual that has 48 pages in it. So let's take this to the house and see if it's gonna be a winner just like it's Simple Machines counterpart. Or if we can find out why it got the silver award and not the gold medal. So now it was time to get to work. My son is six and as I mentioned, was perfectly capable of doing most, if not all of these experiments, especially the ones dealing with magnets. I mean, what kid doesn't like playing with magnets? What adult doesn't like playing with magnets? I love magnets. There was great experiments that demonstrated the presence of Earth's magnetic fields and we could use that to help him discover and learn about the cardinal directions of a map. We then moved on to the gear sections and finally on to the electromagnetic motors. That is when things took a turn and unfortunately went south. As you can see, we spent quite a bit of time get to getting one of the initial experiments to work, which was to create a simple circuit using batteries to light up a light bulb. But as you can see, initially it didn't work. We replaced the batteries, we messed around with the batteries. We spent so much time trying to figure this out that the actual card on my main camera filled up and stopped recording. So most of everything from this point on is on our backup camera. You know, I really don't think they're interested in the details of the cinematography. Will you be quiet already? So I went back to the studio and grabbed a couple of other super low voltage requiring items, like a small LCD clock and small LCD light bulb to see if we can then get that to work. Unfortunately, it didn't. So after a considerable amount of time, and of course my kids having lost complete interest in this activity, I finally figured out that it was the actual battery cage that was dysfunctional. The wiring wasn't great and you had to hold the batteries just right for the circuit to complete. And we spent an hour thinking the bulb might be bad. And it turns out it's the battery pack. As you can see, we rotate the batteries just so. Now, after spending all that time, the light bulb does work. My batteries weren't bad. It's the pack. This thing might be garbage. So ultimately, I'm torn with this product. I can't really say it's well made because the one that we got was, well, it was kind of broken or it certainly wasn't well made. Additionally, most of the topics on here that were covered were topics that we had covered already in our homeschooling this year as evident by some of our videos where we made our own circuits. We self-powered a pumpkin and we created our own electromagnets. So if you're more of a DIY person, then you can definitely do a lot of this at home by going to Lowe's, buying some magnets and buying some wire and doing these experiments yourself. That being said, if you're more along the lines of, I wanna buy one thing and it all come together in a nice package, then assuming the one that I bought was just an isolated dysfunctional one and a one-off, then, you know, it's not a bad kit. I personally think the best part of this kit was the manual. 
There were several pages dedicated to the science behind every experiment, and there was also many pages dedicated just to the scientific history of what brought about these discoveries. And we all know one of the benefits of homeschooling is how efficient we can be with our time. So you can literally have your kids read the instructions, read the science history, read the science behind the topic, do the topic in about an hour, and you will have your reading, your history, your science completely done for the day. I think I just spit a little bit. Your reading, your history, your science. Come on. So ultimately, where do I stand on this product? That's a tough one. I feel it's somewhat disingenuous of me to wholeheartedly get up on here and say, oh, this is a great product when the one that I have is broken. The science behind it are good. There are topics that every kid needs to know. They're not that complex topics. The simple machines is a little bit more difficult. While you can certainly go to Lowe's and pick up examples of simple machines and take them home, this is a little bit harder to recreate than this because this is just a few wires and batteries. It's currently retailing on Amazon for, how much is it retailing for right now? It's currently retailing on Amazon for this much. And again, you can go to Lowe's and buy everything, but the time you do, you're probably spending this much already. The problem with being a small YouTube channel and you can seriously help us change that by subscribing below. Is that companies don't send us these products. We have to buy them with our own money. The company that made this, it is highly unlikely they will never see this video. So they're not gonna send me another product so I can test it out to say that the one that I bought with my own money was a one-off, a mistake, and this is generally a quality product. So consider this a buyer beware. The science topics definitely covered in this product, I believe most definitely should be covered in your homeschooling environment. But as I said, the one that I got was broken, so it's really hard for me to come up here and give it the 100% stamp of approval. So if you're going to buy it, again, I think it's a good product. Just get in it quickly to make sure the battery component is working properly so you can take it back quickly if you don't or return it to Amazon. So that concludes our three minute Thursday on the Thames and Cosmos Motors and Generators Kit buyer beware. If you get any benefit out of these videos, please consider subscribing below. Tell your friends all about us. We appreciate the support and we will see you next week. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is the Thames and Cosmos. What is it?